So you've made an excellent start to your fitness journey. You've been working out from home multiple times per week. You're feeling great. Your confidence is up. But then you start to notice that your body isn't changing the way you had anticipated. Although home workouts are an excellent choice when you're first getting started with your fitness journey, they're actually not great for ongoing results and they're quite limited in how effective they are with building muscle, toning up your body and losing fat. And today we're gonna to be going into the reasons why this is the case. And if you stick around to the end, we'll actually be telling you what you should do instead to continue to progress and see these ongoing results with your body. My name's Dan, I'm from Get Gym Fit, and I'm here to help fitness beginners overcome their gym intimidation, join up to their first membership, and start lifting weights properly so that they can achieve ongoing results with their body. So let's get stuck into today's content. So the first reason why following along to home workouts on YouTube is limited is because they're not actually progressing you in terms of your strength. What you might have noticed is, you know, at the start of the first few weeks and months, you got a little bit more reward and you started to see yourself getting stronger. So with push-ups, maybe you can start to do them on your toes on the floor. But then after that, you realize that it, the exercises are becoming quite easy, especially the strength workouts you're noticing. You're having to do lots more reps to get the same kind of effect and get that same burn. You're having to kind of find things around the house like kettlebells and dumbbells, or even if you don't have those, maybe you're going to cartons of milk to make it harder. And the reality is you're not really challenging your body and its strength. You're not having to force it to get stronger. And that's the first problem with home workouts. They are quite limited in improving your strength. And the thing with strength is that the stronger you get, the more you're going to see physical changes to your body. If you keep on just upping the reps and working harder and puffing, puffing more and more and more, you're not actually going to see those that correlation with an improved change in your appearance. So if you're getting value out of today's content, please hit the like and subscribe button so we can continue to spread this to people who need it. Another problem we see with home workouts is that you don't actually have someone beside you to really push you to the limit, to really extract as much effort as you possibly can. What you're probably finding is that the workouts you're doing are getting simpler and more easy as time goes on. And again, you're noticing that your gains or the reward and adaptation you're getting from the training is really starting to plateau and you're not getting as much out of it as you used to. The next issue with only doing home workouts is that you don't have what we call skin in the game. Essentially, this means that you don't have any sort of social or financial commitment or accountability to your training. It's so easy, you know, when that alarm goes off at 6 a.m. to kind of just hit the snooze button, not actually get out of bed, um, because you don't have someone there being like, you know, keeping you accountable and relying on you to actually do that workout. You only are accountable to yourself. And at the end of the day, if you're not paying for a service, there's no kind of, I suppose, guilt is a bad word to say, but there's again, no kind of pressure on you to actually get up and do that home work. Another reason why only doing workouts from home is very limited is that you're not actually getting the best learning experience. If you're just kind of following the same people on YouTube or the same influencers, you're not actually getting a variety of influence and input into your understanding and your knowledge of fitness, the gym, nutrition, and all of those things that are super important. You might get some depth of knowledge from one person, but you're not actually getting that breadth of knowledge from different types of people who can really input into you and get you to understand what's important and what's not. So next up, I'll be going over the solutions and how you can actually overcome this stagnation and this lack of results you're seeing from home workouts. I'll be referring to each point that I just went through. So in order to get stronger and start really seeing ongoing results with your body in terms of more tone, less fat and just a great figure, you're really going to have to invest in some sort of equipment like some kettlebells, some dumbbells, some barbells, something like that. Or alternatively, you can sign up to a gym membership, which we highly recommend. At the gym, there is all sorts of equipment. There's bars, there's kettlebells, there's, uh, there's racks, there's machines, and these are going to challenge your body and essentially force it to get stronger if you're doing your training correctly. So, 
Again, investing in one of these types of things or services is going to get you stronger and get you these ongoing results. Next up, I spoke about not having you know, a training partner or someone beside you to actually push you to the limit. Now, if you actually sign up to some sort of gym membership or class or training partner or something like this, which is often paid, you're going to get that kind of social environment where everyone's giving it their all, they're pushing each other. You've often got a heart rate monitor if you're doing a class that's keeping you accountable, that's keeping you pushing to the limit. And that's gonna help you to break through this stagnation um, and this lack of results that you're seeing from merely doing only home workouts, following along to YouTube and that kind of thing. Next up, I spoke about how there's a lack of social and financial accountability. If you've invested in some sort of subscription or service, it's actually going to kind of motivate you, get you out of those slumps, get you doing those workouts when you cannot be bothered, when you don't want to, when things get tough, because inevitably, on your fitness journey, they definitely will, you know, there's going to be tough times. So having that social and financial accountability skin in the game is so, so important. Finally, home workouts don't give you that learning that we spoke about. Whereas if you actually join a gym, you're going to absorb and learn via osmosis. You're going to see other people around you lifting in a certain way, perfecting their te technique in this way. You're gonna be able to speak to staff members. You're gonna be able to just soak up the learning atmosphere that a gym membership provides you with, whereas you're not getting that from home.